Hello Taurus and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for January the 16th through to the 31st. What's come out for you here? The Two of Swords crossed by the Eight of Swords. Oh, feeling stuck on something here Taurus. Let's see. Stuck, hard to make a decision. Which way to turn? Let's see. Uh, this is a general reading for the second half of January. My usual spiel, just take what feels right and leave the rest. You all know the spiel. It's not all going to, all parts of it are going to resonate or resonate on different levels. But if it does really resonate and you want to know, want to learn more and find out more and get more information, there will be an extended reading and the link is in the description box below. And we also take a sneak peek at the future beyond in that as well. So let's move on, spiel over. Now you guys have been the major player, This that your energy has been the major player of all the readings. It's all about Taurian energies coming in, Taurians, Taurus is doing this. So I'm intrigued to know what every single reading has been about you, your influence on every single sign. So I'm intrigued to know what's coming in for you, Taurus. Massive shift and change massive transformation coming through whoa ace of swords in the near future lovely four of cups yeah you're not sure about something on offer here seven of pentacles and the magician lovely and i want to pull one more card the eight of pentacles yeah it is going to work oh my goodness the tower card so whoo some big changes coming through for you here taurus so you've got the Tower and the Death card coming in. So let's get started. The Two of Swords crossed by the Eight of Swords. Now, these are the two cards in the deck. You can see both of these, these characters are blindfolded. They're, that is self-limitation here. These are the two cards that you cannot see because you've gotten in your own way. You can't see because you don't want to see or you can't look at something. You can't make a decision and you're feeling stuck. And it's then then you blocked by feeling stuck and then you blocked by a thought pattern and then it, the cycle continues. And so, yeah, this is frustrating, isn't it? This is a frustrating energy. There's a decision to be made and you're feeling like you can't move forward with that because you're feeling stuck. So it's no wonder in your conscious mind this nine of wands is going, is this over? Can this be over now? Ready for the next fight, the next battle, ready for it, to, the next struggle, ready. This is the energy of just expecting things to just keep going and not change and not improve and to just maybe not even sure if you can finish something. Uh, there's a lot of fear and doubt around this. There is a, is a struggle associated with it. Interestingly, with the nine of wands, though, I don't know what, did I call it the Nine of Pentacles accidentally? I can't remember. But the Nine of Wands is you're actually closer to the finish line than what you think. And what it's showing is that the, this is all, there's all, this change is already happening. It's just, it's happening such a deep down energy that um, your conscious mind not, might not be aware of it. So it's got a sense that we're close to the finish line, but it's also the sense of, I don't know how I'm going to make it there. Uh, but so that's kind of interesting. Um, in the recent past, we have the Seven of Swords. So this is you uh, wanting to leave restrictions, <laughs> wanting to leave restrictions, a restrictive environment, uh, wanting to get out, wanting to just find some more freedom and liberation and liberty in your life. And it's just, I just need to get away from this. This is too confining. It's too rigid. It's too strict. It's these rules are not working for me anymore. And so you're like, I need to get away from this, but I don't know. Then you come to this decision of you've left, but where did you land? So you might have, and this seven of swords could be just mentally checking out from something. Because they've got all these, I feel like very much mentally you've checked, you've clocked out with something in your life, and but you haven't made the decision where you're going to next, and that is a hard decision. So you're kind of caught in this like um, frustrating limbo um, at this moment in time. But 
at the base of the reading, the death energy is this huge transformation and change that is coming about. It's a massive transition and this is happening deep down at the root, at the base of your entire, your core, your entire existence they're showing me. And this takes time. This is a transition, transitory that you're going through a huge transition here. And that's why it doesn't feel like you've landed anywhere. It can yet, it can feel unsettling, but it's, it's like trying to find your, they're showing me trying to find your way through the dark and just feel your way through. And you have to trust that you are heading in the right direction, that things are changing in the right direction <laughs> uh, because you might not be feeling that right at this moment. You know that something has irrevocably changed or you have left something or clocked out somehow. But, yeah, I mean, it's not the easiest um it's actually fabulous. It's not the easiest energy for your conscious mind. But deep down and in terms of your whole being, this is a fabulous change that's coming in here for you, Taurus. So it just might not feel like it right now, but it does land. Like finally, we land on the Ace of Swords in the near future. And this is what's so, this is what I love, the fact that this came in. Here's the clarity that you've been looking for. Here is the new idea. Here is the new direction. Here is exactly the new set of priorities, rules, whatever you, the the freedom that you, this is exactly what you were looking for that's coming in in the near future. It doesn't present itself until that tra huge internal deep down transition and change finishes, but it's coming. It's so close. And like we said, it's closer than you think. So I think it might be, you know, suddenly out of the blue, a light turns on and you can see again. You know, it's like, uh, that's what they're showing me. It's the, it's like click your fingers and suddenly you can see. It's not like we're watching a dawn and it gradually gets, the light gradually gets, there's no gradual. It's just bang, instant. So uh, that is coming. You need to trust that you're heading in the right direction. And that's why I think that this four of cups, this is you. Look at what's been on offer here. There is something on offer and you're just like, I don't know if I want that. So that's understandable because it is, un I think it's unclear at the moment what it is. It's unclear about, I mean, until you're resolved and you've made this huge change, internal change, you're not going to know whether you want it or not. You're not even going to know exactly what it is. You need to wait for that Ace of Swords to come in in the near future for that clarity to come through. And it cuts the ties. It actually severs the ties to uh, psychic ties, energetic connections and cords to the past that you no longer remain connected to. So, yeah, fair enough. I wouldn't be making any choices, decisions at this point in time. And it's fair enough. That's why you weren't, you're not doing it. Um, but, you know, surrounding you, you actually have got a lot of happiness. There's a lot of love and happiness here for you. There's a lot of really, really good stuff. You may not be able to be experiencing it at this moment in time, but there's a lot of love for you here. There's a lot of joy. So, yeah, there's some good stuff, some really good stuff. It's like just coming out of the darkness and into the light and it's just like boom. So this is your hopes and fears is the seven of pentacles is having something to actually to see some kind of growth because um, at the moment there is growth happening but it, it, you may not be able to see it because it's happening on such a deep down level. So, but... Yeah, you're wanting something that you can kind of platform off in money, investments, um, stability, uh, just getting back to day-to-day -day business and understanding and knowing where you want to be investing your money and your time and seeing growth in your world. So that's part of this decision that um, in wanting to make the right decision around that as well. So in the near future, we have the, the Magician and the Eight of Pentacles. So here you are, you've got everything that you need right in front of you and what are you going to do with it now? This is the big question that comes in with the magician. 
suddenly the confidence comes back. Suddenly it's a sense of I've got something concrete that I can get really stuck into. I can make this work. And it might be very much related to your work as well. This can be related to the Ace of Swords. This can be a brilliant new idea, a new project, a new career. This can be something that you suddenly like, uh, this is a new way of working. This is a new way of something working or me working in my life. So there's this like amazing light bulb aha moment where it's like now I see everything, I've got what I need and I can move forward, concrete reality. So, and it's exactly the energy that you want, this beautiful earth energy for the eight of pentacles. So there's no wonder that the tower has come in because this is just removing stuff that is no longer working for you. You've outgrown a whole heap of things. Um, this can be disruptive changes for some of you, but it can also be internal changes. It can be removing of old systems, old sense of self, um, old this tower can very much re represent what that Seven of Swords energy was right, leaving, that those restrictions and something. I felt like a, a part of you that was in, institutionalised for some of you, that restricted, um, not being able to move. It was too rigid, like we said, and it was just... I need to, I just need to break this down. I can't be living like this anymore. So this can be other people's rules. It can be self-imposed. It can come in so many different forms, Taurus. So let's pull an animal spirit energy. What does Taurus need to know? What sort of animal spirit medicine does Taurus need to know around now? Let's pull a card for you. The wolf. Hmm, I love this. This is all about responsibility uh, but it's about your connection to other people as well and your place within the pack it question the question it's posing is how much have you taken on too much responsibility and where can you let some of that go how much have you taken on where have you taken on too much responsibility that's become a burden And how can you restructure us or delegate so that there's more of an equality? I feel like there's still, you know, being an authority in your world, but mm, these are the questions that are being asked by the wolf energy here coming through for you, Taurus. So I think it's work smarter, not harder, really, when it comes down to it. So let's pull some, what intuitive messages do we need to get for And it's also looking at the people around you. Are they your tribe? Are they your pack? Are they people that you are gelling with? So let's look. What have we got as the message from the fairies? We have Spirit Dancer and Iris of the Rainbows. Wow. You can almost touch it now. You can almost touch it. Something that seems so intangible, something so almost frou-frou, <laughs> an airy fairy. Um, it's like just beyond. It's within your reach. It also might feel like it's just beyond your reach. But it's there. It's there in spirit. It's there on an, another level that is not tangible, like I said. It's an unseen energy. So at f that's how it's going to present at first, which is why you can feel like you're in the dark. But then it, this, is a, this passage is a huge trust, a sense of do you trust where you're going? Do you trust your gut? Do you trust the universe? And... Your spirit is actually guiding you through this. So it's it's just showing me a, a difficult passage through the darkness that you are being guided through and your spirit will always be there. But for some reason it's to do with initiation and learning to trust again. 
So the guides are saying that they're acknowledging that that this can be difficult for some of you, but that there are great rewards at the end of that. You're all going to be experiencing this differently. Some of, for some of you, this won't be as hard or as for others. Um, just It's just this initial passage and then suddenly, like I said, the light comes on and everything becomes like, oh, here I am. I can see again. I can touch. I can feel. Um, but, yeah, it's just that, yeah, it's just they're asking you to trust. So that's interesting, Taurus. Okay, let's pull charm oh we have the hand the hand that wards off evil so but I'm actually getting that this is your sense of touch might be heightened at this point because we've had, you can see both of these figures are like touching and feeling. It's all very touchy feeling. The magician is holding, the pentacles have to hold that within their hands. It's all about what you can feel and touch, tangible, but questioning if you can't see it, what, what sort of fears come up around that. So... I feel like that's kind of like you're feeling your way through a lot of stuff at the moment. Uh, so, yeah, it's interesting. You need to be able to see it and feel it to believe it. But do you? These are the big questions that are coming up here for you, Taurus. You feel definitely going to feel more comfortable when you can. But, um, yeah, it's interesting, intriguing. But, yeah, it's fabulous the way it turns out. Like it's just this huge change and transformation that leads to such positive things, um, to clarity, to it may be new work for some of you, to more money coming in. Something's going to work where you didn't necessarily think it was going to. So it's um, yeah, right at the last minute when you think, I'm just going to give up and this isn't working, suddenly it starts working. So it's incredibly positive, incredibly positive, Taurus. It's just that one little challenge in there and there's a reason for it. So I hope that made sense and resonated with some of you. Like I said, just take what feels right and leave the rest because sometimes when you get these more um, intense kind of readings, some people just go, well, that doesn't feel right for me. But uh, if it does, we're going to take it over to the deep read now and look at the future beyond. We'll get more information. I feel like there's actually a lot more information that you need to have around this, Taurus, because there's just, well, I'm just feeling this need to have more information. That might be how you're feeling and that might be just because it's this sense of I'm, I'm feeling around in the darkness at the moment. So we'll see what comes out in the extended reading. I'd love it if you come over. We'll find out what more you need to know <laughs> and um, we'll look at the future beyond, like I said. So the link is in the description box below. Uh, but if this is where we're leaving each other and this resonated, made sense and you enjoyed the reading, then please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. I always really appreciate that. And uh, take care, Taurus. Bye.